Hey, My name is Lee Collins and I'm the development director for Red Mountain Park. Um, let me rephrase that. I'm the extraordinarily privileged, blessed director of development for Red Mountain Park. Um, it is an extraordinary thing to see green space and outdoor recreational activity and health and family and everything that is good about Red Mountain Park, Railroad Park, Ruffner, the Red Rock Ridge Valley Trail System, all of these things that Mayor Bell and Jay Roberson and others have worked so diligently to bring to fruition in Birmingham. Um, today we're gathered to thank and thank an extraordinarily generous donor, the Hugh Call Foundation, came to the table with a gift last fall that made the Hugh Call Beanstalk Forest a reality. Um, and as I told Mayor Bell and Sam Yates with the Hugh Call Foundation, this is not so much about publicly recognizing them as it is about encouraging others to join the cause. We like to refer to it as gentle peer pressure, um, but it works. And, um, and Birmingham is definitely moving in that direction at an extraordinary pace. So uh, just wanted to say thank you all for being here. Spread the good word. Come often. Come to all of your parks often. Bring friends and family. Get healthy, get active, get connected. Bring every wall that divides anyone in Birmingham down and meet them at a park. And that's what you do, okay? So. Um, Jay, I'd love to invite you to say a couple words about your involvement with Red Mountain Park. All right, thank you very much. And uh, to all those present today, uh, Mayor Bell, uh, to Leadership Birmingham Class of 2013 and others that are members of that class, uh, to the Hugh Call Foundation and Sam Yates, it's truly a pleasure to have you here in District 7. Uh, we know Hugh Call was very uh, involved with forestry, uh, not just here, and, but throughout this country. We're greatly appreciative of his leadership in that area in support of your foundation for this great opportunity we have here with the Beanstalk Forest today. I'm truly excited. Red Mountain Park and your staff and all you've done, David Dion, for what we're going to have available to us here in District 7. Uh, this is truly an opportunity for families to come together from all walks of life to enjoy outdoors and green spaces here in the city of Birmingham and throughout this region. So it's an exciting day. Uh, I was telling Mayor Bell a few minutes ago, you got to try the zip line. <laughs> so when your daughter gets in town, you just, just get on that zip line and zip down there, man. Uh, my wife and family and I enjoyed it. Kids enjoyed it. It's truly a family fun experience to experience the history here and also these trails. So I'm just thankful for everyone being here today to support the Hugh Call Beanstalk Forest and us having another great venue of fun and opportunity here in the city of Birmingham. Thank you very much. Thank you. to uh, say a few words if you would. Well, first of all, let me thank all of y'all for coming out here and taking the time to look at this great, great, great venue for Green Space. Um, I told David when he came on board some time ago that this has a very special meaning for me. Um, as a young boy, my friends and I, we lived over in the Tillisville community. We used to hike this ridge. But the reason why I hiked this ridge was because my grandfather worked in the mines up here. And he was killed in a mine accident. And from as long as I can remember, the family would always talk about it. And we would come up here and just hike to look at the location and try to find and so forth and so on. And so I became familiar with the landscape up here. Uh, and we need to make sure that other, other children have that same opportunity to come up here and see the green space that exists here and enjoy it and come out here and be a part of nature. Uh, I want to thank the Hugh Call Foundation and Sam, you know, you all don't have to do the things that you do, but you do. And we appreciate it. Uh, the Hugh Call name is on a number of different buildings. I know Scotty over at UAB, they, they're involved over there and all throughout this community. So we're very, very grateful for the work that's being done by the Hugh Call Foundation, especially as it relates to this facility. And we want to make sure that for generations to come, they will have an opportunity to enjoy this, to enjoy it. But it needs all of our help, all of our support. Uh, those of you who represent companies that are looking for a great investment in the future, this is a great investment in the future. For those of you all who are in, uh, on an individual basis, 
bring your kids and family out here to see what's going on. I bet you a lot of you, if this is your first time, you had no idea, no idea what was going on out here. Just hang on. Yeah, <laughs> and it's going to get better. It's going to get better. So thank you for being here. Thank you, Hugh Call Foundation, and thank Lee and David and the entire group for the work that they're, that they're doing to make sure that we have some of the greatest green spaces Yay. in the country. Well, thank you. Thank you. And last but certainly not least, Sam, may I ask you to say a few words? You may. Sam is with the, the Hugh Call Foundation, uh, the foundation that uh, made a very conscious decision to support this project, encouraging others to do so. But you're such an eloquent speaker. It's a very hard act to follow. And I found out that she wanted me to say a few words about 6 o'clock yesterday. And I said, I'd be happy to say a few words. I feel privileged to be able to speak on behalf of the Hugh Call Foundation. And I said, by the way, what's the attire? And she said, casual. Except for, except for Mayor Bell, of course, I'd be in a suit. This is my casual outfit. <laughs> this is my work attire. And, I, you know, it, it is what it is. But we're, we're very glad to be able to participate as a foundation. And I'm privileged to be one of eight members to work on this great legacy that's done so many things for the city and will continue to do so many good things for the city, as Mayor Bell points out. And th this park has a remarkable history. And in, in, in talking to David through the last couple of years, one of the things that, in general, the people don't, people don't realize is that this is, at one time, in its 100-year history, is, is a mining site or uh, a development, one of the largest industrial operations in the continental United States. It was just an amazing operation here at one time, and now we're back to share the legacy of what you know was here at one time, and thanks to U.S. Steel, thanks to David Dion, thanks to people like Temple Tutwiler, and I can't name all the volunteers, community foundations, so many nonprofits help make this thing a reality. And what's exciting for us as a foundation is that we're able to participate, particularly where we can help with revenue generating opportunities such that on an operating basis, the part not only sustains, but it grows. And as everyone knows, it's always nice to have an operating budget this in the black and you know not all of our great venues in the city are that way but hopefully over time we can get to that point but anyway enough said for me be glad to be here thank glad to you. participate thank, thank you hey right there we uh, have been stopped for us even though it opens by first <laughs> and do we have our pictures right right here all right there's one more here we go there's one more all right okay i say sam cut that ribbon buddy Come on! Sweet spot! There we go. There we go. That, that's why we're okay. here. Okay, better no news. Three, two, one. All right. Very good. Awesome. Are we good? Okay. <laughs>